uh, hi everyone this is our new lab setup for a uh, cyber security detection and monitoring so let me explain you here on the LAN we have one vulnerable server and by the way for vulnerability i'm using the ready-made server uh, metasploitable okay and with the ip address 192.168.1.102 uh, this one second we have active directory window server 2000 19 you can use 2016 or 2008 and 12 as well so already active directory has been configured and few test user is configured i will show you step by step how to configure all these things so we will perform some attack related to active directory as well uh, this is the client pc which already joined this domain okay and here is this the hr user and hr is login so here we can see hr so hr user which we already created an active directory and has joined the domain so we will see the logs here okay and here we are using 192.168.1.0 subnet so we have 102 we have 100 and we have 10 uh, this pc okay and keep in mind an active directory uh, i already install forwarder as well the splunk forwarder so if i go down i hope so it's gonna show you the forwarder so we already install and configure a forwarder as well on this server okay so it will forward the logs from here to this splunk server okay uh, so that's it this from this side i will show you step by step how to upload the images how to configure them just to explain you the topology the next thing we have pfSense firewall and here we use this pfSense in other courses as well the first port port number zero it will get ip through dhcp and it will provide you internet access and all these lan uh, uh, interfaces however i remove the ip address from lane 2 i will show you why i remove the ip because we don't need ip here no ip address is required because this is a mirror port we call them span port or whatever you call them so it will collect the logs from here and it will send them to the uh, security onion so security onion is a pre and open source which you can use them as a ideas for monitoring purpose so security onion this one okay and uh, this security onion has two interfaces one is span port to collect the logs and one is for management management i'm using window 10 you can use any uh, security onion and it collect the logs you can see if you perform any attack uh, from here to this devices so uh, this the logs will be sent to this uh, security onion and from here you can monitor this security onion so i configure 192.168.10.1 .1 on management interface and here 10.10 .10 on this management pc and i already open 192.168.10.1 and from here you can see the alerts and cases and whatever you can upload the pcap as well to analyze them and this is the dashboard it will show you each and everything so whatever the traffic is coming and it will show you the ip address 3.11 is basically uh, this kali linux and we have some other 1.100 1.10 each and everything it will show you the detail for monitoring purpose uh, what else so kali linux you already know Kali Linux we can use for any sort of attack. I will show you how to configure and from here you can uh, generate uh, some logs. So nmap on this IP. Okay. And it will show you all the open port. So this way you done attack and it will show you and the security onion as well. Okay. And also from here you can access pfSense device. So pfSense is on this IP 3.254 because this is the ip address on third interface and you can access this device and you can configure bridge which is basically a span port that one whenever the traffic is coming from lane forward them to lane 2 as well so that we can monitor them basically here on the security onion okay so this is the configuration of uh, kali linux and finally we have a splunk you can install splunk on two different flavor windows and linux and linux you can install them on ubuntu you can install them on centos you can install them on the red hat in this case i configure a ubuntu server keep in mind ubuntu server is ubuntu has one desktop edition one is 
server edition i will show you and then i install the graphical user interface on ubuntu server which i will show you again all the steps and splunk is configured here okay so there is a forwarded install on this active directory which we do normally in the real world and it will send the traffic to this uh, splunk and here you can see the logs and those logs and it will show you that this srv is basically this one okay and the source we say we need the uh, window logs related to security system application and setup related okay and source type is also the same which i told you and here you can see the log server test.local is this pc and it will show you all the detail you can go further which we will discuss later uh, how to index and how to search each and everything so basically here i configure uh, forwarding and receiving you need to configure receiving on this port and here you need to configure forwarder to put the ip address of this uh, splunk in this case which is 4.12 so this way it will receive the logs and after that if you go to uh, forwarding and receiving okay and let me go to here let me go uh, show you the setting quickly we will do step by step all these things so if i go to add data okay and here is the forwarder configure you know window server this one so it will collect the logs which we already configure anyway just to show you and after that you can see the logs properly and you can search them search and report so we recently searched let me go to that one which is uh, this one so if i add to search so it will show you the logs related to this active directory okay and let me search it last 24 hour so it will show you all the logs okay whatever so this is the splunk how to install them how to configure them on window i will show you on window server how to install i will show you how to configure and install on a linux ubuntu and also i will show you how to install them on centos okay so this is splunk and what else is left yeah and this is the internet access it will get internet access and it will distribute on all these interfaces so that these devices reachable to the internet in case if we need to install something on here because you will uh, download and install splunk directly from their website the free 60 days and then we will install directly so for that i need internet access so there is internet access also if we need anything from these devices to reach to the internet so it's available for them and i will show you the firewall setup from here we will access this pfsense device and we will do some basic configuration such as port mirroring and to allow all the traffic on this device and even if you want you can send the logs of this devices to this security onion as well also i will show you how to configure and install security onion so this is our lab which is fairly related to our detection and monitoring and we will do some uh, a basic attack on these devices so that you can see how it is work thank you